All right, we're going to begin in <clears throat> Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23 this evening. We are inviting and uh, desirous of the participation of our brethren on live stream with us in these requests. Our first request is that all saints everywhere would be convinced of the hope of the gospel and not be moved away from it. Amen. It says, if ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. So he's talking about being in the presence of God, uh, unblameable. So our, in praying for the saints, this conviction of we have, we have things that are actively militating against our faith. There are doctrines of demons. There are the, the hard speeches of sinners against God. There are the distractions of what can be seen. So we don't want to just uh, assume that we're going to make it in without any effort, without any attention that we can neglect so great salvation and then hope that we would attain unto eternal life. So we're going to pray that the saints would be vigilant, that they would be wise, that they would be uh, equipped with the knowledge of the Word of God and with uh, the gifts that God has placed in the body for our edification and, and strengthening and ask that we would not be moved away from the hope of the gospel. Who will lead us in that? Brother Jeremy. All right. We're going to be... Absolutely. Thank you very much. We're going to turn next to 1 Peter, 1st chapter and verse 13. It says, Wherefore... Gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. We are praying that all God's people would keep their minds stayed on Christ, think soberly, and hope to the end for the grace that is to come at Christ's appearing. These are things that the Lord gives to his people, but he won't force them on us. We ourselves are a testimony to the goodness of God and to the value of his grace and of the, the things which have been promised to us in Christ Jesus when we don't forsake them, when we don't depart from these things in order to think on lesser things or to Amen. give our hearts to lesser things. Our, our minds are to be stayed, fixed. I remember in the Psalms, Whenever David said, my heart is fixed, O Lord, yeah. my heart is fixed. He was, this was something he gave attention to. How much more whenever the risen Christ is abiding in us, our minds should be engaged with us at all times. To think soberly and hope to the end. We know that when he comes, it's going to require, you know, there's grace that's sufficient for everything. And there is going to be grace for his coming again. Amen. It is going to be a fearful, I mean, it, we, the scripture would say it will be a terrible sight. Now, not, not terrible like it's a bad thing for us, but without this grace, yeah. it, would be, it, would, it would do us in. Uh -huh. Think about seeing the glorified Christ coming in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels and his own glory <laughs> and the heavens and the earth passing away. Yeah. Well, we've hoped for that. And so we're hoping also for the grace against that day. Amen. And knowing that that grace is available to us, we don't want to do anything that would, um, that would exclude us from receiving that grace when we need it because the moment could come upon us suddenly. And with, with that grace, you know, we'll, we'll be among those that say, say, this is our God, we have waited for him. And we'll be rejoicing. Everyone that doesn't, won't. 
So who lead us in that request? Brother James. Sister Barb. All right. And then finally, brethren, Titus 2, verses 12 and 13. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. We're asking that all believers would ready themselves with purpose, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of Jesus Christ. Well, brethren, that's part of what we're doing here tonight. And every time we gather and when we go home and we, when we have our, our, uh, our private times with the Lord and when we're amongst believers and when we're in the midst of unbelievers at, at all times, it's a time, if you will, of making ourselves ready against that day. And it's a blessed hope. It's one of the things that we're to encourage one another with, that the Lord will come and will not tarry, and he'll receive us to himself, and that he'll put away, put down, destroy everything that is contrary to himself and against the saints, and that will enter into the joy of our Lord. So who will lead us in that? That all believers would ready themselves with purpose. So we're going to apply ourselves to this end, and we will be met with the grace of God to accomplish it looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of Jesus Christ. Brother Tony. Sister Sarah. Sister Rachel. Okay. Uh, girls, Sarah, I'm going to have you pray for that one first, and then Sister Rachel, and then Brother Tony, I'll have you wrap the, the prayers up, if you would. And um, I'd like to ask um, Sister Nicole, would you please uh, pray for, let's see, who is preaching tonight? Brother Aaron. Brother Aaron, would you keep him in remembrance? Thank you.